guys, I'm here at Case Western Reserve University. I'm Jessica for University TV, and it's time to take a tour of the home of the Spartans. Case Western Reserve University is located in Cleveland, Ohio, within the city's University Circle neighborhood. So we have the Cleveland Indians, the Cleveland Cavaliers, um, which are obviously two professional teams here in Cleveland, but we also have Severance Hall, uh, which is home to the Cleveland Symphony. Cleveland's University Circle is 550 park-like acres that host more than 40 cultural, medical, educational, religious, and social service institutions. This vibrant urban campus is close to some of the city's most eclectic neighborhoods and just minutes from downtown via the region's Healthline transportation system. Case Western Reserve enrolls more than 4,000 undergraduates with students coming from all 50 states and more than 20 countries. The male to female ratio is almost equal, slightly tilted toward men, and just under half of the student body is not Caucasian. Admission to Case Western Reserve is competitive with an acceptance rate of about 40%. Nearly three quarters of incoming freshmen graduated in the top 10th of their high school class and mid-SAT scores range from 600 to 720 critical reading, 660 to 760 math, and 600 to 700 writing. The ACT composite, meanwhile, fell between 29 and 33. Undergraduate tuition at Case Western Reserve is close to 42,000. Room and board is another 13,000 a year. Many students receive scholarships or need-based financial aid to help offset a portion of tuition. U.S. News & World Report consistently names Case Western Reserve among the top 40 national universities. Case Western offers more than 80 academic programs among four undergraduate schools. The College of Arts and Sciences, Case School of Engineering, Weatherhead School of Management and the Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing, where students begin hands-on clinical experience by the third week of their first year. I'm thinking about the hospitals and the opportunities that I have to work like firsthand with doctors, shadow, volunteer, network, um, all of that was amazing to me. And the partnerships that we have with UH, with Cleveland Clinic, with Metro Health um, was amazing. It was a great opportunity and I've really taken advantage of it since I've been here. Our students tend to be placed uh, very highly in terms of uh, medical school, graduate school, um, industry as well. We have about a 97% placement rate and students who come to our program and do well um, tend to have their pick for what, for what they want to do. The university's medical school ranks in the top 25 in the nation. Faculty and physicians associated with the school made a number of medical breakthroughs including We have a nine to one student to faculty ratio, so that's kind of a good place to start. Uh, so a lot of opportunities for students to get to know their professor. It's a smaller university, so we get a lot of hands-on interaction. So I'm working on the ground in research teams with my undergrads directly. They are working in my labs, they're working in my field sites, and in many ways it's a very collaborative experience. There are an impressive 15 Nobel laureates who served on the faculty or graduated from the university. The Spartans' 17 athletic teams compete at the NCAA Division III level. On-campus housing is guaranteed for all four years and currently 77% of students choose to live on campus. We do call them residence halls because it's a place that we live, not just sleep. Um, and in regards to that, uh, we have events that go on. Um, our residential colleges for uh, first year students are split up into four different types of residence halls. So whether you want to live um, in an international student housing or uh, leadership or in the arts, um, you can kind of pick sort of different styles up to what students are going to be living with. Case Western Reserve is a culturally and religiously diverse campus with more than 160 student organizations. There are a lot of clubs here on campus, uh, pretty much anything that you can think of, whether it's the juggling club or the robotics club, uh, also fraternity sororities. We have undergraduate student government, which is kind of like in high school when you had um, class council. Uh, that's what that's like. So they're in charge of like distributing all the money to the smaller student organizations. Um, we have University Program Board, which is responsible for bringing in all the free stuff on campus, which is great. Um, they bring in comedians, bands, they do free things on Tuesdays in the Student Center. 
things like that. So recently we had Seth Meyers here, we had Aziz Ansari last year, and we had the Goo Goo Dolls, we had B.O.B. We've had a lot of really awesome performers, which has been really nice, and those are generally free, which is awesome for students to go to. One of the things that has most impressed me is how many of our students take leadership positions in foundations and organizations in the community, across the state, and even across the country. So the service aspect, where our students are going out and helping to write new laws, where they are helping to change policies in our state and federal governments, for example. Case Western Reserve is known for its research opportunities for undergrads to become involved on cutting-edge faculty research. There is an initiative that the university has called Thinkbox, which is going to be a 50,000 square foot a facility where students can actually take their ideas and make them reality. And there, are, you know, there's a number of equipment there, um, such as 3D printers, laser cutters, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, where students can again even build, begin to build prototypes of some of the ideas that they've had, convert, make it reality, and actually see how it works in the real world. Since 1974, the Film Society of Case Western Reserve has held a science fiction marathon. It's the oldest of its type, boasting more than 34 hours of non-stop movies, cartoons, trailers, and shorts spanning many decades and sub-genres. On your mark, get set, go! To the Hudson Relays! This annual tradition occurs on the last weekend before finals every spring semester. It's a 26-mile relay race throughout campus. Our campuses used to be 25 miles apart. Um, and when they first separated, people used to run from one campus all the way to the other campus, um, which is a long distance. And they used to do it individually, but now we don't do that. We run it as a class. If a class wins the relay for each of its four years, the provost rewards runners with a steak dinner. Go class of 2011, the latest four-time champ. Thanks for joining me here in Cleveland, Ohio for our tour of Case Western Reserve University. For University TV, I'm Jessica, and I'll see you next time.